Okay, so this is problem 314. Um, in this problem, we have a voltage divider uh, circuit. Um, we have 20 volts here connected with 10, uh, 40 ohms in parallel with some unknown resistance, or in series with some unknown resistance. And when there is no load connected to it, it has a voltage drop of 4, four volts. When this RL is connected in parallel with the R2, then it has a uh, voltage drop of 3 volts. So we're asked to find um, what is that resistance, and we're going to use voltage division to do that. So when this is in here, the circuit looks like that, right? And we know, they're telling us that this is 3 volts. Well, we know that when resistors are connected in series like this, that the voltage drop across here is going to be a ratio of its resistance over the total resistance times the voltage source. So V2 then should equal R e, uh, R2 over REQ times V source. If you need the background on this problem, it's in the, um, the video for problem 310. So R2 is our unknown. We know what V2 is. V2 is 3 volts. And that's going to be R2. We don't know what that is. And REQ is going to be 40 plus R2. And our V source is 20. Okay, so then we have 3 over 20 is equal to R2, 40 plus R2. And then this just becomes a cross multiply an algebra problem, 3 times 40 plus R2, um, that gives me 20 R2, 120 plus 3 R2, bring that over here, we have 17 R2 is equal to 120, and I have some kind of mistake somewhere here. 3 volts, oops, that's my mistake, it's 4 volts. It drops to 3 volts when it's connected in parallel, so this should be 4 volts. So then 4 over 20 equals R2, 40 plus R2, cross multiply gives us 40, 4 times 40 plus R2 times 20 equal 20 R2, um, this 160 plus 4 R2 is equal to 20 R2, so 160 is equal to 16 R2, so R2 is equal to 10 ohms. Okay, so now we know what that is. So, then we connect a resistor in parallel with this, some RL, and the voltage drop goes to 3. So what is RL? Well, to solve this, we're going to replace this with its equivalent resistance. So then this is going to be REQ is going to be 10 times RL over 10 plus RL. That's our REQ. So then the new circuit looks like this. 20. That's 3 volts. We use voltage division again. Voltage division says that the voltage of v, R, v of REQ is going to be REQ over R total times V source. Okay? Well, we don't know what REQ is, but we know what V of REQ is. That's going to be 3 volts. Um, REQ is still an unknown. R total is 40 plus REQ. That ratio times 20. Divide through by 20. Moving this up here. 
We have 3 over 20. That's equal to REQ over 40 plus REQ. Cross multiply gives us 20 times REQ. That's equal to 3 times 40 times plus REQ. Okay, so that gives me 20 REQ. So you go 120 plus 3 REQ, and that gives me 17 R equivalent is equal to 120. That gives me R equivalent is equal to 120 over 17. And I just want to make sure that I didn't make any mistakes because that's easy to do. Okay, good. So 120 over 17 is the correct number. So we're going to substitute back in here. And then now, cross multiply to solve for RL. This gives me 17 times 10 RL is equal to 120 times 10 plus RL. So 170 RL is equal to 1200 plus 120 RL. This gives me 50 RL is equal to 1200. RL is equal to 1200 divided by 50. And that is equal to 34 ohms. So that's the answer to this problem. RL is equal to 24 ohms, and we solved it using voltage division. Let me know if you have questions.